Jesus. 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 I speak up both. Don't you know? Just 
church. We try so hard, and it seems like nobody really cares. More scars, more damage. Oh, boy, the blood starts to come out. And come on, it is frightening. We're humans, and so the blood comes out, and it seems as if we cannot take it any longer. But I see an example in Jesus Christ. He is my mentor. He is the person that I look up to. He has taught me a lot of things that nobody else could teach me. The Bible says that when he came back from the grave, the door was shut. But it was no longer just Jesus in the flesh. But he was called almighty as he always was. But now, flesh had taken a back part because he was glorified. He was more than just a man. He came back with a glorified body. He came back with more power than when he went down. I'm here to tell the devil when I come back. We need to understand something that God in the entire Old Testament was calling Israel back to himself. Come back, you backsliders. Come back, Israel. And sometimes, church, we scorn the backsliders. Come on, this is not the truth. We scorn the backsliders. We've gotten to the place that if you were the choir director and you backslide, hear me out before you throw me out. You will never become the choir director again. We got to make you an example so other people don't do it. When you lose your position as a preacher, as an evangelist, as whatever, when you get fired, you're never going to get it back. We got something messed up here because apparently it seems like the anointing they had the first time wasn't strong enough. They need to come back and say, God,
Jesus. He was nailed to the cross. Oh, glory be to God. They put his feet and they nailed his feet to the cross. He bowed his head and he died. Came up the coast. That wasn't good enough. Even when he was dead, they pierced his side. That devil is a sly old fox. Even when I'm down, he's still trying to kick me in the teeth. Oh, glory be to God. But what the devil didn't know, although Jesus was dead, the blood was still inside of him. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. He was the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Blood had to flow one way or another. They pierced his side. And when they pierced his side, they should have never pierced his side. But the blood flowed. The blood started to drip down the cross. It dripped down the cross and it went to the ground. When it went to the ground, it went into the dust. They tell me that man is made from the dust. When the blood touched the dust, it made recompense for you and me. Thank God for the blood. But then he died and he came back up. When he came back up, there was no blood in his body. He was a glorified body. He was a sanctified body. He was a holy body. He was a righteous man. He was God. He was God. When he came up, he knew no more pain. When he saw Thomas, he said, Thomas, come here, Thomas. I've got a lesson for you. You've got to tell your enemy this. Thomas, come here. Thomas, I want you to do one thing. Take your hand.